here we are with the Honda running. It is nighttime, so unfortunately I don't have the aid of the extra light of the sun. Apologize for that. Uh, <coughs> right now the cell is operating. And getting approximately nineteen point five amps going in. This is my uh my DC shunt mounted on top of the battery right here. Uh, can I see that? Yeah, okay, that's my hand. Uh it is connected to the negative battery lead so that it, if this if these terminals were to ever short out they would not they would n they not be a potential between these uh two terminals in ground so we have like i said 19.5 amps and we have 13.2 volts that seems kind of low i think that's right so 19.5 amps 13.2 volts and I'm going to get the stopwatch here. <coughs> Take off the bubbler. And go. Same results in the car, 27 seconds, 19.5 amps at 13.2 volts. Uh, I think if I do the math, that's going to be about 250 watts. And this is just a little, little bit over one liter per minute at, uh, at that current. Now, at this current right now, the cell is warmed up, but not completely. If I were to drive this on the highway for a little while, my, my current would actually increase. See, now I'm at 19.9 amps, 20 amps. And as the temperature increases, the uh, current does also. It is fused at 30 amps, so <coughs> I have some room, room for uh, additional current draw little headroom there. Now, I don't know if you were able to perceive that, but when I connect the tube for the HHO, the RPMs actually increased. RPMs drop with the uh, HHO off. Oh, the choke is going off now. That's why it's doing that. All right. Back here is the, the uh, bubbler that you saw strapped to the electrolyzer tank when it was on the bench over here. And of course the HHometer sitting on top of a uh, plank of masonite just to hold it level. The uh, EFIE electronic fuel enhancer. And I'm able to turn the cell off just by putting this little test clip here to ground and actuating the relay that's in the front here by the battery. So there you have it. Uh, a little over one liter per minute. And uh, with the Rev B cell, I hope that to increase that to well over two liters per minute. Uh, but right now, this is, uh, this is what I'm running with for the, uh, the test.